to the holy swamins and to every one of you i offer my pranams sukhano shai ragaha दुखानुशयी द्वेष स्वरसवाही विदुष अभी तथा आरूढ़ अभिनिवेश what are the causes of suffering patanjala is examining this problem in the light of his investigations into his own nature he analyzes the mind and he thinks that for all the problems that we face in life mind is the <coughs> cause if there is some defect in the mind if there is a something lacking in mind then that causes all suffering and it raises problems creates problems therefore his stress is on the internal causes not much external causes internal causes the primary causes the root causes what are they you know them avidya asmita is there then there is raga dvesha abhinivesha these are the five causes they make the mind turbid and uh, uh mind becomes filled with darkness covered with darkness now what is avidya what is asmita we have studied already now we go over to the next aphorism and it is uh raga सुखानुशयी राग वॉट इज राग वॉट इज राग एंड वॉट इज द्वेष ही डिफाइन्स दम वेरी ब्रीफली एंड ब्यूटिफुली ही से राग इज सुखानुशयी sukhanushayi it is a feeling it is a feeling towards the things which give us pleasure a kind of attraction for the thing that gives me pleasure this is a flower it is a red and beautiful it is a full of fragrance suppose when i touch it when i see it when i smell it what do i get i get pleasure i get pleasure 
means this is a pleasant object. When I find that this object gives me pleasure, there develops in my mind an attraction for this flower. This attraction leads to attachment to that flower. This attraction and this attachment is called a raga. Any object it may be, it may be a person or an object. It may also be an event. If I find them to be pleasant, then my mind begin, begins to grow, go towards it, flow towards it. The mind flows towards that object, towards that person, towards that event. Then what happens? I want it to be repeated. That experience is to be repeated. I want to see this flower again and again. I want to own this flower, means keep it with me always because it is a source of pleasure. This, this desire is due to raga. Desire also is a raga. Attachment is a raga. Attraction is a raga. And a desire is a raga. There are two kinds of desires. To experience it and to own it, to keep it with me. If I find this table to be very pleasing, pleasant to see, then I want it to be, I want it to be with me. Means I want to own it. And I want to touch it again and again and use it again and again. That is Raga. That is a Raga. Dvesha means if I find this flower painful, not a pleasant, then what happens? I dislike it. Means the feeling of dislike towards this object develops in me and that feeling of dislike is called dvesha. Dukkhanushai dveshaha. Sukhanushai ragaha. Pleasure and absence of pleasure, pain. Pleasure and pain determine my desires. If there is a pleasure, I desire it. If there is a pain, I dislike it. I don't desire it. I don't go after it. These two feelings go together always. One is negative, other one is positive. Raga is positive and negative Raga is Dvesha. I hate it means I don't want to have it. I don't want to be with it. And I don't want to, uh, I don't want to uh, see it, touch it and think of it. This is Dvesha, Raga and Dvesha. These are the two feelings and they cause suffering. They are the causes of suffering, main causes of suffering. Now, what happens when we 
develop raga. Raga is not always bad. If I see this flower, find it pleasant, if I own it, I, if I look at it again and again, it is not a bad experience. It doesn't do anything bad to me or to others. Raga must be there. Raga is to be there. But if it becomes, it becomes an obstacle for achieving spiritual heights, attaining the spiritual heights, then it becomes raga, harmful. A raga disturbs my mind. It uh, uh, makes my mind poor, it weakens my mind. Then it becomes a klesha. Simple raga is not bad. Simple disliking is good for uh, a, a, a comfortable life. Dislikes are to be there, likes are to be there. Everything I cannot like, everything I cannot dislike. But likes and dislikes should not be too deep, too strong. Then they create problems, they are kleshas. They are kleshas. Very beautifully he defines those two words. Very beautifully. Maha uh, Allama Prabhu was a great saint. You have heard his name. A great yogi. He is honored everywhere. In Karnataka, in Maharashtra, in whole of India because he was a great yogi. And he lived a very beautiful, unattached life. He was a great thinker, a philosopher as well, a mystic. And his sayings, thousands of sayings are there. In one of his sayings he says, he puts this plight of man very beautifully. He says, Ura Madhyada Kanna Kadi Nolage Biddaidave Aidu Hena Bandu Bandu Aluvaru Balaga Ghanavada Karana Henau Beyadu Kadu Nandadu Bari Madauri to Goheshwara. How beautiful is the saying. What is happening in this world? How Raga is acting? He describes it. He says, Ura Madhyada Kanna Kadi Nolage Aidu Hena Vidava. Ura Madhya means this world. This world, it is a metaphoric, suggestive uh, poem. Metaphorical, suggestive poem. Very beautifully he has written. He says this world itself is a crema crematorium, a cremat crematory uh, ground. Crematorium. This is a crematorium, graveyard. The whole world is a graveyard. Because every moment millions and millions and millions of living beings are dying here. It is a crematorium. Then he says, five corpses have fallen here. Here are lying five corpses. 
ಫೈವ್ ಕಾರ್ಪ್ಸಿಸ್ ಊರ ಮಧ್ಯದ ಕಣ್ಣ ಕಾಡಿನೊಳಗೆ ಬಿದ್ದೈದಾವೆ ಐದು ಹೆಣ ಫೈವ್ ಕಾರ್ಪ್ಸಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಮನಿ ಈಸ್ ದ then there is fame then there is a power lastly there is the flesh pleasure these are the five corpses bodies dead bodies are lying in this world just to see how beautiful he put it puts it land is there wealth is there money gold gems jewels wealth is there then there is uh, uh, fame then there is a power lastly the flesh pleasure these are the five corpses that have fallen here and what is happening he says millions and millions of people come to this world and everyone who comes to this world comes to this world what does he do cry over them cry over them they are weeping over them weeping for them because they are lovers of those corpses everybody who comes to this world is a lover of the corpses and they are corpses they are dead objects and everyone who comes here lives for 100 years and every moment of his life he is a crying over those corpses he is a craving for them he is suffering because of him he has become miserable because of these five corpses isn't it just open the pages of a history what has been happening everybody everybody cries for land power then the position flesh pleasure and fame and name these are the corpses dead objects later he says nobody got them they are still there they are not burned to ashes they are still there and the fire is also is there it is burning but the corpses are not burnt only people only people waste their life the years are wasted but nobody has got any happiness from this from these corpses they are all relatives of those dead objects they are the lovers of the dead objects and not a single person has got a lasting happiness from those corpses the corpses are still there corpses are still there people are still coming from somewhere living here for hundreds of years and they all of them are uh, experiencing distress distress frustration disappointment and mental pressure and leave the world corpses are still there they are laughing at the foolishness of man we fight for the land we fight for the chair we fight for pleasures but we have not got 
satisfaction. And nobody will get a satisfaction. A raga is there not to give us any pleasure, but to make us sorrowful. A raga. Dvesha is there. Liking is there. Disliking is there. Both of them are there. They are causing all the problems and troubles. All the trouble is caused by them. They are lived in officer, a big rich officer. And he had kept uh, two pets. One of them was a poodle. Poodle means a dog, a beautiful dog. And another, a parrot. They were the two pets he had kept. And uh, his son, a small child, he loved them very much. And for the child he had kept the pets. The child, the son of the officer loved them very, very much. He feeds them, he takes care of them, he plays with them. And they were very happy. Unfortunately, after a year or two, the son died. Small boy died. The officer had to leave the city. He went to a distant city. And the child who, boy who loved those pets is not there. And the officer is the officer. They were not his pets, they were pets of the child. He left those two pets free and he left the city. The poodle, the small dog began to cry. The parrot was sitting on the roof. It was free. The parrot was free. And the Dog was weeping day and night. The parrot said to the dog, Why are you weeping? Why are you weeping? The dog said, Just to say, for years, I loved these people. The officer, his wife, his child, everyone I loved. I am deeply attached to those people. They also loved me. They gave me food, they gave me water, they gave me all comforts of life provided. Now they have left. That pains me very much. Then the parrot said, this is life. We have to learn these things. We should live together, but not being attached deeply. I also lived like you in this house. They loved me, I loved them, but I knew that one day or the other day, I will be free. Likings and dislikings are conditioned feelings. Conditional feelings. In some time they are there and in other times they will not be there. The mind of a man is not 
not uh, uh, stable, it changes. It changes. It will not be the same always. We should not get too much attached to these people. I am so happy. Because, because I am free now. I am free now. You are also free, but you are not happy. Because you are a dog. And those people are people, men. Men are always that way, they live that way. And you dogs are always trusting them. Therefore you have to suffer for them. Friendship must be there as long as we are with them. When there arises an occasion, a time comes of for separation, then we have to live by ourselves, enjoy the life. Not to get deeply attached to anything in this world. This is a parent. Therefore, birds are always happy. Dogs are always crying. And they are our friends, human beings. They are very close to us. Every house has a pet in dogs, isn't it? Dogs are pets for man because their, their, temp, their uh, way of thinking is the same probably. Attachment, they get attached. This is Raga, Raga. This Raga is uh, uh, accompanied by the f uh, the feeling of uh, uh, accompanied by dvesha, the feeling of dislike. They go together. I like this flower, and I dislike something else. If you take this flower away from me, then I dislike you. I like this flower. Because of this flower, I dislike someone else. Liking and disliking, they go together. They go together. If I find this flower to be the source of a, a pain, then I begin to dislike this flower. Disliking and liking, raga and dvesha, they go together. What is the history of a man if it is not the play of these two feelings? What is the history of a man? The play of these two feelings, attachment and aversion. Aversion, repulsion. Aversion, repulsion, attachment. These are acting, these are playing, and the history is being created. A raga and a dvesha. A raga and a dvesha. Vasveshwara says, Vasveshwara says, this raga is everywhere in the world. Everywhere. Ajana nungitthu maya. Isn't it? All the gods, all the gods, it has swallowed, it has swallowed. A raga is there. And also dvesha. Also dvesha. They hate and they love too much. Hating too much and loving too much, they are the causes of suffering. They cause all the suffering. Just to see the, the way Patanjala defines them. 
the pleasure that we get from the objects and the pain that we get from the objects, they are to be suffered or experienced, of course. But attachment is bad. Too much attachment is bad. Too much disliking is bad. In this world, in this world, there may be so many thoughts, so many objects, so many persons whom I may not like. It is not possible for anybody to like everything in this world. Some people like sugar, some people dislike sugar. That doesn't mean there should not be sugar in the world. I have to live with the sugar, even if I dislike the sugar, I must be there. It, it is to be there. I must live with it. Isn't it? The East is there, I love it. West, I dislike it, suppose. But without West, I cannot live. Though I dislike West, I have to live with the West. I love the East, but that should not be too much loving. Only East is to be there. I should not say it. Only East, without going into the West, how can you, how can you be in the East? The West is there, East is there, they are related. They are relative directions. And if I dislike any of them, I should not say that there should not be the west, western direction. West is to be there. Though so many things are there which I may dislike. You dislike the hair on your face, but you like the hair on your head, isn't it? We dislike the hair on our face. Every day in the morning, we clean our face. Isn't it? Not a single hair we want to leave. We want to let grow on the face. The same hair is there on the head. But they have to come, they have to grow. We have to live with them. Though we dislike, we should not hate them. If we begin to hate them, then we will be in trouble. Therefore, let us live in this world without hating and without much liking, means attachment. These two are to be uh, get rid of. This is a raga. This is a dvesha. Now he says that these two causes are based on ignorance. Means they are founded on ignorance. Because there is an ignorance, raga is there and a dvesha is there. Ignorance is there as the, as the ground for these two kleshas. Why? We love certain things deeply because we do not know the nature of the things. Why we hate? We do not know the real nature of the things. We dislike loss, but loss is to be there. Loss is to be there. We dislike lacking. Lacking is to be there. Everybody cannot be equally rich. Everybody cannot be equally beautiful. Beauty is there, ugliness is there, we have to be there. So many thoughts are there which are different from my thoughts, which are different from my opinions. They are different, they are to be there. And I have to live with them. I should not expect that everything that is that I love is to be in the world, and everything that I dislike should not be there in this world. This does not happen. This is impossible. This is impossible. 
hatred so much harm it has done in the world hatred we just hate the things so for example even the even uh,